Hello and welcome to another fighter video and I believe this is fighter 250. So not long to go on my relentless drive before I can slow down and do them more intermittently. But anyway, back to the video. Um, this video we are looking at a long reigning light heavyweight king um, known as Victor Galindez, um, one of the long reigning um, light heavyweight champions in terms of defences from South America. Let's go through the career of Victor Galindez. So Victor Galindez, in his first 20 pro fights, has an indifferent looking record, okay, going 11 wins, 6 losses, 3 draws with 9 KOs, so he has a combined record of 11, 6 and 3 with 9 KOs. Now, he fights um, a little list, but it's the same opponent, okay, former top 10 rated contender, Jorge Ahumada. Victor Galindez beats Jorge Ahumada before losing the rematch to Ahumada, um, the top 10 rated contender. He then comes back and fights Jorge Ahumada a third time, getting a win, making it 2-1. And then Victor Galindez fights Jorge Ahumada a fourth time. So he fights him four times in his first 20 pro fights. Ahumada was a tough contender, um, but Victor Galindez fights him four times there, winning three of them. So Victor Galindez, after 20 pro fights, has not yet fought a world champion. Um, and Galindez also has not yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter. Um, he's now had four fights against the one top 10 rated fighter. That is Jorge Ahumada. Um, and his record is three wins and one loss. And Galindez has not yet fought a top three rated fighter um, or fought a ring champion. Although it is his first 28 pro fights, uh, but he's had a little fight run against fellow um, top 10 light heavyweight Jorge Ahumada. So let's go on to his next 20 fights and see what he adds to this. So Galindez goes unbeaten suddenly after that indifferent first slide. He goes unbeaten in his next um, 20 fights, going 19 wins, no loss, one draw, with 12 KOs. So from 40 fights, Galindez has a record of 30 wins, 6 losses, 4 draws, with 21 KOs. Now, Victor Galindez beats top 10 and top 3 rated contender Eddie Owens on this slide before also gaining win over top 10 and top 3 rated contender Ray Anderson. So after 40 fights, Galindez um, has still not yet fought a world champion um, and he's still not yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter. But Victor Galindez now has had six fights against top 10 rated fighters um, and Galindez so far has a record of five wins and one loss. And Galindez um, actually is 2-0 um, against top three rated fighters. I don't know why I've put 0-0 there, but he's 2-0 from two fights against top three rated fighters um, and he has not yet fought a ring champion. So Victor Galindez um, in 40 fights for a kind of um, around the time of Monzone um, hasn't really fought too much in his first 40 pro fights but in his next 20 fights what we'll go to now um, he oops his work rate quite a bit. So when we look at this first of all I want to check something. Ah, yeah, I have amended it from last slide. Um, so, Victor Galindez again goes unbeaten in this 25 run. Now, going 19-0-1 in his last 20 fights, he now goes a full 20-0 in this fights with 8 KOs. So, from 60 fights, Victor Galindez has a record of 50 wins, 6 losses, 4 draws, with now 29 KOs. Now, Victor Galindez beat a few top 3 rated fighters on last slide, um, and he starts out by beating top 10 and top 3 rated contender Len Hutchins, um, before all also beating Pierre Fourie, um, top 10 and top 3 rated um, contender. He then fights Jorge Ahumada for the latest time in his little rivalry, um, top 10 contender, beating him, and then he gains a second win of a top 10 and top 3 rated contender Pierre Fourie. Um, Galindez then also fights top 10 contender Jesse Burnett, gaining another win before fighting another top 3 rated fighter on two occasions that is top 10 and top 3 rated Richie Cates Galindez beats him um, in the first fight and then Galindez also wins a second fight against the top 3 rated Richie Cates Victor Galindez then gains another really good win okay, of a top 10 contender Yaki Lopez um, a fantastic contender he was before then fighting a world champion, okay, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, the former, the tough and hard punching top 10 and top 3 rated champion Eddie Mustafa Muhammad is beaten by Victor Galindez, his first world champion is beaten and then he gains a second win against top 10 contender Yaki Lopez. So Galindez does more work on this slide. He's not fighting many champions, but he's fought his first world champion. He has a record now of one win, no loss, no draw against champions. 
Uh, Galindez has not yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter, but he's now shot up to 16 fights um, against top 10 rated fighters with an excellent record thus far of 15 wins and only the one defeat at Ahumada, what he has avenged three times. Um, and he's also now with the correct number at the bottom, had eight fights against top three rated fighters. And so far, Galindez is unbeaten against top three rated fighters with a record of eight wins, no loss, no draw. And he is still yet to fight a ring champion. So that Galindez does more work on there, fights some very, very good and top light heavyweight contenders on there. Um, let us meanwhile go on to the next fights for Victor Galindez. And Galindez has eight more fights, going five wins, three loss, no draw with five KOs. Um, so Galindez has a retirement record of 55 wins, nine losses, four draws with 34 KOs. Now Galindez fights a few more champions on this slide. Um, he fights top 10 and top three rare champion Mike Rossman, um, suffering a defeat before then coming back and gaining revenge over top 10 and top three rare champion Mike Rossman in the rematch. He then fights another former world champion that is um, very, very good light heavyweight, top 10 and top three rare champion Marvin Johnson. Um, Galindez Galindez loses to Marvin Johnson and then after early on an earlier slide beating top 10 contender Jesse Burnett, Galindez loses a rematch to Burnett. So Galindez didn't fight too many champions like many other fighters. Um, but he had a good um, title fight record, as we will see. So Galindez um, had four fights against champions in his career. He won two and lost two from those four fights. And interestingly, he never fought a Hall of Fame fighter. Uh, Galindez did, though, have 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters um, and has a record of 16 wins and four losses. And he is into double figures now against top three rated fighters with 11 fights against top three rated fighters in total, um, including nine wins, two loss and no draw. And Galindez also never fought a ring champion so there is the basic career of Victor Galindez who will join my light heavyweight list um, all of my lists are growing um, let's look at his stats and as we can see Galindez beat two world champions in his career that's Rossman and Eddie Mustafa Muhammad um, he also fought a combined 43 rounds against world champions and when it comes to Hall of Famers Galindez did not beat a Hall of Famer he did not fight a Hall of Famer um, thus he's beaten no Hall of Famers and he has also fought no rounds against Hall of Famers now in world title fights at light heavyweight fighting all those top 10 and top 3 rated fighters Victor Galindez built a title fight record of 14 world title fights um, and that's an impressive record including 12 wins and 2 losses um, with 4 KOs inside the distance in title fights and Galindez just hits double figures in defences making 10 light heavyweight title defences and altogether Victor Galindez in his career for 183 rounds um, in title fights so Glindez didn't fight a Hall of Fame and he didn't fight that many champions um, but certainly he did um, have a good title fight record and fought a lot of top 10 and top 3 rated contenders um, and fought a lot of title fights and made 10 title defences so he has a very good title fight record at light everywhere Galindez in the two starts at the bottom fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers Galindez comes in with 20 um, fights in that category and wins against rated fighters champions or hall of famers again neither get into those top hundreds now um, with other fighters added in recently um, he comes in with 16 wins so let us go on to Galindez's uh, KO stats. And Galindez scored 34 KOs in his career now. Nine of those knockouts were inside three rounds or less. And Victor Galindez never scored a first round KO. Galindez did score one inside the distance win against a world champion and thus beating no Hall of Famers. Um, he did not score any inside the distance wins against Hall of Fame opposition and from his 14 world title fights including um, 12 world title fight wins as I've already said Galindez scored four KOs in title fights really I could leave the KOs in title fights off the last slide really because I include it here and I'm kind of giving that stat twice but never mind so, Galindez, let's go to his title accomplishments, close out the video. Galindez was a one-weight world champion, never held the lineal um, light heavyweight title, but he was a two-time light heavyweight champion, um, and the world title belt that Victor Galindez held um, was the WBA light heavyweight title on two separate occasions. So, not a fighter with one of the deepest resumes in light heavyweight history, but a good fighter who beat a lot, a lot of top 10 and top 3 rate contenders and had a very impressive title fight run. There's Victor Galindez. He'll join my light heavyweight playlist. Um, I will be back soon with more, more videos.